Hello YouTube, this is the man who's never wrong here. Make sure if you like this video, go on ahead and subscribe, and check out my other ones. Now, alright, there's been some controversy, controversy for not even just this presidency, but for a lot of presidencies in the past, about arming supposed, like, uh, terrorist groups or rebel groups that turn out to be terrorists. You know, you've got Al-Qaeda and the, uh, 80s when they were fighting against the Soviets in Afghanistan. You've got today the Syrians, you know, the the Contras, all that stuff. Now, here's how you can pretty much straight up offer proof that Obama is currently arming a terrorist rebel group, the Free Syrian Army in Syria, which, you know what, I'll probably make another video on that explaining why they're not freedom fighters that they're often portrayed as by the United States media. Now, look at their weapons. If you see them with an AK-47, an AK-74, any type of Kalashnikov rifle, uh, this is an airsoft rifle, but for example, this type of a gun, again, this is an airsoft rifle, see, orange tip, then <clears throat> that's fine, you can get those, they're pretty much lined in the streets in the Middle East. But if you see them with one like this, again, airsoft rifle, an M4, or the longer version of the M16, those aren't so common in the Middle East. So where do you think they're getting them? You think they grow wings and fly over there? No. What the CIA is doing is they're setting up special groups that will go over there, and then they will sell the weapons to these terrorists. You want more proof? Remember how in Egypt, uh, I want to say it was September 11th of this year? Funny enough, it's April 11th. I promise you I didn't plan that out. But in September 11th, I'm sorry, it was actually September tw No, yeah, it was September 11th when the Middle Eastern world was on fire and pretty much every United States embassy was getting attacked, most notably in Egypt and in, uh, Li and in Libya. And what does Obama do just a few months after that? He, this is old news, but I'm just saying it proves the point. He sells some F-16 fighters, the most advanced fighter jets in the world, and Abrams tanks, I'm sorry, doesn't sell them, the Abrams tanks, but he donates them simply because it was a part of some treaty deal. Well, I tell you what, if you sign a treaty with another country and they turn around and they attack your embassies, for me, I'm pretty sure that's enough to make that treaty null and void. I mean, if you ask me, and they, after that, they pull that shit and then they ask me, Hey, uh, about those tanks and those airplanes you promised us, I'm going to be like, fuck you. Oh, I, I can't understand the reasoning of abs any reason at all of giving them planes. And, I sorry, fighter jets and tanks. I mean, it's not like they're a key ally of ours. We need to appease them. We could live quite easily without them. It all probably has to do with oil. Yeah. So, you know, again, you want proof Obama is arming these terrorist groups just look at the videos and that's not even a conspiracy that he's been selling them that he sold them tanks and uh, fighter jets that's a known fact it's like I said it's not a conspiracy is not not a mystery nothing like that it's a fact he just obviously hasn't admitted that he's been selling the Syrians weapons the Syrian arm the Syrian free army weapons but you know what like there's no other way they're going to get M16s. They're only made in America. They're not made in England, Australia, France, uh, Angola, Libya, nowhere. Just in the United States. And they especially know if they've got a rail system on them, like this one does. Well, this would be a rail system. Again, not a real M4. But if especially if they've got a rail system on it, you know they didn't just buy it at some jihadist street vendor. So... Again, if you like this video, go on ahead and subscribe. Check out my others. I'm uploading videos every day. Have a nice day.